we have already obtained the output or drain characteristics of junction field effect transistor and in this lecture we will obtain the transfer characteristics so what is the transfer characteristics this is the first question what is the transfer characteristics transfer characteristics of junction field effect transistor is rd versus vgs plot keeping vds constant in case of jfet transfer characteristics is id versus vgs plot id versus vgs plot keeping vds constant very simple and we already know id is the output current vgs is the input voltage and we are keeping the output voltage constant so in case of transfer characteristics we obtain the plot between output and input quantities and in case of jfet the transfer characteristics is the plot between current id the drain current and gate to source voltage vgs now in case of bjt in case of bipolar junction transistors the output current which is the collector current is the function of input current ib and more precisely we can write ic is equal to beta times current ib where beta is the amplification factor and it is constant beta is constant and current ib is the control variable control variable and uh, we can see there is linear relationship between the current ic and the current ib this is very important point there is linear relationship between current ic and current ib because beta is constant but in case of junction field effect transistors in case of junction field effect transistors there is no linear relationship between the output and input quantities we already know the drain current is the function of voltage vgs and the relationship between id and vgs is defined by shockley's equation i d is equal to i d s s inside the bracket 1 minus vgs divided by vp and the whole square this is very important relation id is equal to i d s s the maximum drain current inside the bracket 1 minus vgs the gate to source voltage divided by vp vp is the pinch of voltage and the whole square this relationship is important you will have direct questions based on this relationship and in this equation there are two constant quantities the first one is idss the maximum current through the jfet is constant vp the pinch of voltage is also a constant quantity and vgs the gate to source voltage is the control variable in this case now the equation is non linear because of this square term you can see square here and because of this this equation is non linear non linear and uh, if you decrease vgs if you reduce vgs the drain current id will increase and that also exponentially so there is exponential increment in the drain current if you decrease the gate to source voltage vgs now we will obtain the transfer characteristics and there are two ways to obtain the transfer characteristics there are two ways the first way is to use this equation using the equation and the second one is using the output or the drain characteristics and we will use the second way we will use the output or drain characteristics because we already know how to obtain 
the output or drain characteristics now i will quickly draw the output or drain characteristics and using it we will obtain the transfer characteristics the x axis is for voltage vds in volts the y axis is for the drain current id in milliamps for this curve the maximum drain current idss is equal to 8 milliamps and the pinch of voltage vp is equal to minus 4 volts this is the first curve obtained at vgs equal to 0 volt the second curve is obtained at vgs equal to minus 1 volt in the same way vgs equal to minus 2 volt this curve is for vgs equal to minus 3 volt and the last curve in which the drain current is equal to 0 milliamps is obtained when vgs is equal to minus 4 volts or the pinch of voltage so this is the output or drain characteristics and now we will obtain now we will obtain the transfer characteristics and for that you have to draw the graph like this the y axis is again the drain current id in milliamps and the x axis is for the voltage vgs in volts and we already know the relation between id and vgs is nonlinear from this equation we know the relation is nonlinear but we are using the output or drain characteristics to obtain the curve so let's see how we can use it the first thing we have to do is to mark the x-axis this is origin 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and then minus 4 now I will draw the vertical line like this I will do the same thing for all the four points minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 now I will extend the horizontal line like this and for the first curve in the output characteristics when VGS is equal to 0 volt is intersecting at this point when VGS is equal to 0 volt so this is the first point I will do the same thing for the second curve and we have the second point for the third curve we have this point for the fourth curve we have this point and for the last curve when id is equal to 0 milliamps we have vgs equal to minus 4 and id equal to 0 milliamps now we will join these points we will join these points like this and this curve here is the transfer characteristics of junction field effect transistor so this is how you have to obtain the transfer characteristics and this current here this current is the maximum drain current IDSS and at this point at this point the drain current ID is equal to 0 milliamps and VGS is equal to the pinch of voltage VP now why we are having the non-linear curve we will discuss if you see the output characteristics then you will find on decreasing VGS making it more and more negative the spacing the vertical spacing is decreasing this means on decreasing VGS in the equal intervals current ID is not decreasing with the same ratio and because of this reason when you plot the transfer characteristics you will have the non-linear curve but in case of BJT this is not the case when you decrease the base current IB the collector current will decrease with the same factor so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one